Hey, what's up guys? Captain Zach here. Well, I've got some really cool underwater footage for you today. So this is actually all from a single cast. So you see the, the jig sort of went down from the boat there and just really gives a sense of how much life uh, is on the, the ocean floor, how much sea life is just sort of swimming around there. We were uh, halibut fishing this day, probably in about, call it like 90 to maybe 120 feet. So nothing, nothing crazy deep, but we happened to catch the right conditions that that led to good enough visibility to get this this underwater footage and it is uh, always always surprising when this jig hits the bottom just to see you know how much how much sea life is just really swimming all around uh, and you can see right as that jig hit the bottom halibut shows up immediately so these are just some some small halibut i i usually call those chicken hallies uh, but you can see it sort of swarmed it right away there's a cool sea star off to the right yeah as you as you sort of drift really slowly across the bottom you just never know what you're gonna what you're gonna see so keep keep your eyes peeled but these little hallies are just sort of swimming with the jig almost just sizing it up seeing if it's something that they want to want to take a run at And it looks like we've got some company here. Here comes another, another halibut sort of taking a look. That one, another slightly larger halibut came in to take a, take a bite. So this one's more aggressive. You can see it's making a few, a few passes at that jig. see a couple of the halibut swimming on the bottom there so the visibility gets a little bit worse but but you can see their outline sort of sort of shifting around and as I'm jigging this sort of up and down I'm moving it up and down now this one's taking a little more of an aggressive stance at starting to take some bites at see now it's fully in its mouth so if this was just right like tight to my line I would have caught that for sure oh and here's a salmon Okay, so this is a pink salmon that uh, it is sort of biting at my swivel now. So the, the shine from the swivel has now attracted a salmon. So we've got all kinds of, of sea life going on here. The halibut are kind of eating the jig. Salmon are biting at the, uh, at the swivel. And here comes some, uh, those are flounder. So those are, those are some flounder on the bottom, another sea star there and a halley swinging through. Yeah, these little flounder have almost no shot at, at actually getting getting this jig in their mouth. Those halibut could, even though those are pretty small halibut, they can certainly suck that uh, that jig in and get hooked. And what I was saying before there is that, you know, if this jig is tight to my line, the feel that I get is is amazing. Like I can feel the second that fish touches it, and then I'm able to kind of set the hook. Um, when I have this particular rig going as I'm running footage, my feel is not so great. So sometimes you'll see the, a halibut eat this jig and you'll say, hey, what the heck? Why aren't you catching that fish? And it's just because of that um, reduced feel that I get on this rig. But that's okay. It's totally worth it for me. I really enjoy capturing this and, and also sharing it. I think, I think to, to a large extent, it's sort of a mystery of what's going on down there any given cast. And I, I always, I'm always sort of like, I get extra confidence. I get more like inspiration every time I take a look at, at this type of footage because there is a lot going on. So sometimes you could be sitting up in your boat. Oh, there goes a salmon again. So now we got another pink salmon showing up on the scene. Uh, but you can be sitting in your boat thinking that there's just nothing down there, um, feeling like you're not getting a bite. There's not a fish within a mile of you. But the reality is, even if you're not getting a bite, you might not be feeling something that's like a little nibble, but there could also be some fish just sort of circling and, and getting ready to bite. Here we go, another halibut circling. He took a bite of the front of the jig a tiny little halibut like that eating at the front of the jig is not gonna not gonna connect if this was if that was a bigger fish maybe like a 30 or 40 pounder even a 20 pounder would it you know would just inhale the jig so it, regardless of which angle it bit at it would just sort of suck it in immediately but since we're dealing with these little guys uh, when they bite the front of the jig it's not gonna get it done there's that little 
a little flounder swimming through. And you can see some subtle changes in terms of the color of the bottom and just the light clarity. That's because the boats just move in a short distance. Um, there's a the little starfish on the bottom. Here comes another halibut in the area. Got that jig rigged up with some, uh, I think it was, was some herring and, and definitely a nice piece of uh, salmon there. So you can see the, the chunk of salmon is still, is still on there. So that's, that's a piece of pink salmon. There we go, that halibut took a nice big bite. Again, you're wondering why, like, why not a big yank there and, and, uh, and kind of catch that fish, but uh, we were probably just one split second away from that feel coming all the way up to my rod to be able to set the hook. See, I'm sort of slowly working the jig up and down and then I'll often let that jig hit the hit the ground so that's a good way to kind of stay in touch with the jig it also creates some noise and commotion that, that actually attracts halibut so when the when that jig hits the ground each time you lift it up and down it can kind of cause a, a commotion that, that fish will uh, will notice another some kind of cool starfish looking thing in the upper left there some more uh, some more flounder just sort of working their way through little starry flounder. Typically there's two, two types of flounder uh, in this area. Arrowtooth flounder, which are a little bit bigger and have some, some nasty teeth. And then these are just those little starry flounder, real, real small mouth. Uh, usually if you, you get a whole school of those, um, they can kind of nibble at your bait. You almost never hook them unless you snag them. And then, um, you know, sometimes you can actually have to just leave a spot because it's just covered up with flounder and it's just a bunch of li little nibbles. Here we go, here's a, a halibut that's showing some interest. This halibut's sort of circling. You can tell it's a li little more aggressive, trying to, trying to size it up, see if it's something it wants to, to eat. And that's another thing. Sometimes if there's, if there's one aggressive fish starting to take swipes at it, uh, others will show up as well. So it's almost like a, a feeding frenzy dynamic. Yeah, see this one's sort of actively taking some taking some swipes at that jig, trying to bite that that salmon off, taking a couple there's a bite at the head, so you know it's just that that whole jig presentation is 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 pretty pretty enticing. There there went a salmon again. So we've got some pink salmon in the area. Now the halibut is hooked for a second. The halibut actually did get hooked there. Uh, and somehow spit it back out. There's that salmon again. So this this salmon is just curious about, you know, what what's going on with this jig, and then that swivel as well. I think that swivel is small and shiny enough that you can imagine that looks like like any number of things. A small bait fish. A lot of salmon lures are just uh, kind of a little spinner with a little bit of flash. So so obviously that uh, that pink salmon has taken a liking to this rig. And here comes the very small fish on the left there. I'm not even sure exactly what type of fish that was, but kind of took a, took a little bite of that salmon. I don't think that little fish has any chance of ripping the salmon off, but again, just creates more kind of commotion and disturbance by that jig, which is a good thing. And hopefully we're getting towards a, uh, a payday here. So obviously we've had a, lo a lot of these small halibut sort of taking, taking bites at it, but eventually you'd like to see one of those come up to the boat. And I, I think we're, we're sort of getting to, that, getting to that stage of this particular cast. Again, this is all just one cast. I mean, this, this jig is just sort of hovering down there for less than 10 minutes at this point. And we've already seen all of this activity. Okay, so this halibut's fairly interested. It keeps following it up. Every time I lift it or, or drop it, seems to, to, to follow it and bam, it just grabs, grabs the jig there. So obviously fully engulfed, unfortunately spits it out. I mean, a good yank there probably would have, would have landed that fish, but um, you know, continuing to come back and bite, sort of following it up and down. So hopefully we end up sort of catching, catching one of these soon. It's hard to keep watching, uh, watching these near, near misses, these close calls. There you go. He's got it back in his mouth. Again, a, 
a full yank there would uh, would probably seal the deal. But now you can you can see you know it, it's sort of engulfing that jig, and you see all those little scales and kind of chunks of bait. It's creating almost a, its own chum slick, which can be a really powerful tool. I've seen it so many times. You see that type of chum slick going around, and then um, and then aggressive fish will just show up shortly thereafter. Okay, so as we keep working that jig up and down, obviously this halibut is uh, very interesting, continues to take those big bites. Again, a good yank there probably would have put that fish in the boat, uh, but that's okay. We get that back down to the, to the bottom. And you know, at this point, it's sort of a feeding frenzy. You can see other halibut there as well. Um, each, of these, each of these little halibut are just sort of um, taking their turn to just engulf this jig. So at some point, you just know that that's gonna, that's gonna land with, uh, with a fish in the boat, and there it is. So that one got hooked. So it took a bite, uh, and that was his, uh, his last time trying at that jig, because finally that hook set delivered, and this fish is coming to the surface. So obviously we fight this all the way up to the top and finally get a, a fish there. But that's just an example of one small halibut that got caught on that cast, all that activity. If you're sitting on top of the water, you might think, hey, I just got one little fish but on the bottom you see all of that crazy activity. So hopefully you enjoy this. I'll keep sharing more, uh, more underwater footage, but uh, thanks so much for all your uh, help and support. Really appreciate everyone. Take care and tight lines for now.